How's it going to folks? Um, today, uh, I saw that you guys liked my other video of opening these magical things. The mystery boxes. So today, I want to get back to our a little bit of our roots and open some more MetaZoo. But, I mean, that's kind of what we do on the channel. But uh, mostly talk about the market of MetaZoo and where I think it's going from here. So we'll just we'll get into this and we'll... Um, uh, We'll talk about it as we go. Um, again, headway, I have weighed these, and these are lighter. So I don't know what that means. They're not that much lighter. So I don't think that means there's not a pack in them, but it might mean there's a first edition pack in either the lighter ones or the heavier ones. So we're gonna do what we did last time, open everything, and then see what we got. Um, Cause I kind of like that um, results. Okay. So we got a second edition, a second edition, and a nightfall. Okay, so that's kind of what we thought. Um, I don't know why I thought there was something else, but I, I forgot there's no like box promo or anything. So that was in the the lighter ones. Um, so we'll see what's in them. But anyways, um, so here's what I I kind of want to make a bold prediction about MetaZoo. It will stand the test of time in the short term. I almost want to say I almost want to use the G word. Um, and if for those of you who don't know, the G word would be guarantee. And I don't use that word lightly. Um, I really think that MetaZoo is in a very good spot. I just feel like we, I mean, we've talked about this on other videos. We got a first edition. Oh, we got a, oh, wait, is that, wait. Oh no, Nightfall, Nightfall, Nightfall. My bad folks, my bad. I was thinking, I was like, wait a second, we got a first edition back, but no, nope. no first edition pack as of yet. Um, nothing in there. Um, so I would guess that these packs are probably all the same, um, would be my guess, because I don't think that um, that is going to be like that. But anyways, um, I honestly want to say that MetaZoo isn't necessarily going to be the going to the moon, but I think it's going to stand the test of time. I really do. I think that MetaZoo has potential to play the long game. All right, we're... I've seen so many of these... I've seen so many people be like, oh yeah, I'm getting first edition ones and all of these, but I'm like, we haven't had a first edition yet. So maybe that's what's in the heavier ones. We'll find out um, what's in the heavier ones. Um, the Oh no, we'll find out what's in the lighter ones, I guess. Um, but anyways, uh, I honestly want to say that MetaZoo's going to stand the test of time. That's one reason why I keep buying. All right, we got another Nightfall. We got Cryptonation 2nd Edition and Cryptonation 2nd Edition. I was hoping we'd get some more Nightfall, but I'm, I mean, I'm happier that we get these. So, okay, so these three were the um, lighter ones. Um, and again, I did buy these um, locally through me. So, again, sorry, folks, for folks that are getting mad at me, but, um, you know, that's what's going to happen when MetaZoo puts chase cards in here is people like me who like to open cards are going to open them. Um, and that's, you know, fortunate or unfortunate. All right, we got some backwards packs. We got a second edition pack. We got a first edition Nightfall pack. Oh, there we go, two Nightfall packs. So maybe that's why um, the weight was different. So maybe we'll expect um, two Nightfall packs in these next two that we're opening. That would be these two. Um, but anyways, kind of back to why I'm thinking about the MetaZoo market. Um, I honestly believe that they are gonna stand the test of time, not because they are doing everything right, but because they're doing things and they're engaging their community. All right, so we got a Cryptonation second edition and again, so yeah, we got two night balls. So I would guess that these will probably be, um, my guess is that this will be, um, again, Nightfall um, would be my guess. But anyways, um, so I think that they are gonna succeed because they're diversifying themselves and they are going in all sorts of different categories so, oh, this is Nightfall 2nd. No, oh, yeah. All right, all right, all right. So why can't we get, I mean, I know that, so you guys didn't know this, I didn't say this, but this one has a box hopper. How come we can't get a first edition pack? I mean, what's the deal with that? At least I think it has, at least if it doesn't, it has a first edition box hopper. I actually think, I actually think it has a first edition pack because it does weigh considerably more than the rest of them, um, which is unfortunate. But yeah, I mean, I can feel the heft in here. So we'll see what it has, but here we go. Does it have four packs? It has four packs. Super unfortunate. I mean, that's the first edition pack. You, I can just, I can just see it. 
but I was really hoping for a box topper, not a precision pack. Um, I didn't think about that when I was recording, but we did get two um, Nightfall packs and we got the second edition pack. So we'll leave this for last. Um, I mean, if I get a Mothman, that'd be great. But other than that, I mean, the aura is nice, but other than that, I, I'm not really looking for much. But it's interesting how it was a fourth pack. I thought it was supposed to be a third pack, um, like maybe in place of this, but looks like it was just randomly inserted. So looks like we did we were able to get our first um, first one, but we'll do this pretty quick. And all right, we got a sewer alligator um, for second edition. I gotta make sure I separate this correctly. Um, but anyways, I honestly, so kind of back to the MetaZoo um, market talk. I really think MetaZoo will stand the test of time. Um, I don't want to use the G word guarantee because um, no one can guarantee you everything. If they are guaranteeing something, you're probably getting hosed. Um, but MetaZoo is doing a lot of things right. I know, I know um, in the comments you guys are going to blow me up. But to be like, oh, uh, future of OGS, you're, you're saying all this. Things about MetaZoo doing things wrong, and I agree. They are doing some things wrong, but they're doing a lot right. I mean, look at this product, um, just in general. This product is, I mean, not probably the favorite. They didn't disclose everything, which I don't love. Like, we don't know if these Nightfall packs are from Spellbooks. If they're not from Spellbooks, oh my gosh, the market's just, I mean, if a, if a Old Scratch is pulled from one of these, the market will just flip out. You'll see these things at $50 a thing. Just because getting a Nightfall pack and getting a first edition pack, and like we said in the last video, I personally believe you can get first edition, um, you can get first edition uh, uh, box toppers in these things, which would just be crazy because then you're getting like a, a $200 thing that, that hopefully isn't searched. But again, like we said, it very well could be. But anyways, I'm done with that rant. Um, but yeah, um, I honestly think that uh, MetaZoo is in a very strong position. Wow, we got back-to-back -back Babe. Um, and I honestly, we're in a recession, folks. Um, for those of you guys who don't follow Rudy, a.k.a. Alpha Investments, um, I don't want to agree with him in the fact that we're in a recession. But we're definitely in a soft market. Um, I don't want to say everything's perfect. I don't want to say everything's going to the moon because we're definitely not going to the moon right now. Um, but we're in a we're in a difficult spot, uh, and that's why you see prices at all time low. Well, not all time lows, but pretty low. I mean, I saw MetaZoo booster boxes for first edition for six fifty. That's low. I mean, that's or for not six fifty five fifty. I saw which is just unbelievably low, um, in my opinion. So, I mean, honestly, it's it's a crazy time, folks. Um, but don't listen to me. I'm just a guy in a basement um, just opening cards. I just enjoy opening cardboard and talking to you guys. But um, make sure you got everything in the right priority first, first things first and everything. But, so, um, kind of... I guess more thoughts on this. Um, I I just got a feeling that there's something about. So I, I I'm in this. I'm talking about UFO. I feel like there's gonna be something in UFO similar to Golden Tickets. Um, I was thinking about this earlier today, and I'm like, ooh, nice cats. Um, what can they do to one up themselves from Wilderness to that to make them more hype? To make it more crazy. Um, and I think that they're going to do something along the lines of a golden ticket. Um, I am really kind of worried that they will go in a higher print run. Nice black hole shard. Um, but I think that there's going to be something spicy in, in, in UFO that we have not seen yet. Alright, let's get into the Nightfall packs and then we'll get into the first edition pack. Oh, I forgot how much I like the way these packs open. All right, we got an Aeron. It's a nice card. Great card in competitive play. Um, I'm going to make sure I check every card because you never know. I actually need those. Um, oops. That needs to be in a different pile. Sorry about that, folks. Just got a little distracted. Um, but overall, I it's hard to say 
what the market's going to do. And I don't know when the market's going to go up or going to go down, but I would just say long term, I think it will go up. Um, and that's that's a positive thing to say about MetaZoo. Um, I think I know we don't we haven't been talking a lot of positives about MetaZoos in general. Um, I would say that I am carefully optimistic in this, and that I'm sorry for some reason I thought this was a wait yeah it is a Nightfall pack. I don't know why I was thinking it wasn't a Nightfall pack. Um, all right oh a Mothman kind of cool I guess. Um, but so. I, I mean, folks, um, here's something that Alpha Investments, again, Rudy, um, says that I do agree in. You have to find yourself something that you believe in, in this kind of a market. Um, you need to come out of this recession or whatever you want to call it with some sort of belief in any sort of game. I don't care if it's D-Spirits. I don't care if it's... MetaZoo. I don't care if it's um, any of the new Kickstarter TCGs. I don't. I can't think of any of the name drop at this moment. Um, there's a couple that we'll cover on the channel, but um, yeah, I don't. I don't know for sure if any of those will succeed or fail. But I want to say about MetaZoo, and I want to say this about ga card games in general, is that you want to get if you have everything in line, you need to be buying something. So we're going to have a video um, coming up soon about what I am buying. Um, but I want to let you guys know that I am buying. Um, obviously, there's stuff that you guys might have seen, but I have not officially announced it on, on my channel about what I am interested in buying. Um, but that is to come soon. Ooh, nice. Good card. Wow, this is a good... Oh, wow. This is a really good pack for... Oh, Injured Cold. I, I think that's a couple bucks, but I don't think it's... I mean, it's reverse haul. It's not It's not full haul. Uh, I think I remember we looked up the full haul last time. And it was like three bucks, but nothing too spicy in the Nightfall packs, unfortunately. Um, nothing really spicy at all, honestly. We got to get something... We got to get like a full haul of Mothman or something to spice this video up. Get something really good. Or obviously Old Scratch would be amazing. Um, that would be the best pull that we could get out of these, what, four packs that we got left of Wilderness, or of Wilderness. I, it'd be cool if these had Wilderness, because Prism War, I don't know if you guys have noticed, Prism War has gone up significantly. Um, it's like, I believe it's sitting at like 80 or something like that right now, which is way higher um, than it was sitting at, um, which is just crazy to me. Um, it, that was because of a buyout, for those of you guys who don't know, there was a buyout on Prism Wars. Um there was like one listing for like 180 and they're not worth 180 folks. Um, there's still so much that hasn't been open. There's still second edition, which will come. Um, but it's, it's not worth that much, but it is a great card and it will, if, especially if it gets reserved listed, which I don't think that it will. Um, I kind of hope that it do as a collector, but as a player, it probably shouldn't on it in all honesty. So. All right, let's see what else we got. We got a boogeyman. Uh, nothing else spicy. Um, I'm trying to think what I would like to see in this last pass besides old scratch. Um, yeah, oops, that's the wrong pile. I don't really know. Um, yeah, I guess it'd be cool to get a uh, foil flood because flood's pretty good right now. Flood the earth. Static wand, copy cup, and a. Uh, Wood Devil County. So nothing too great out of these packs, unfortunately. All right, we'll get into the first edition pack. Hopefully we got a Mothman or a Chaos Crystal would be nice to kind of redeem this video because from an opening standpoint, not the best opening, folks. Um, again, kind of going back to the market of these um, mystery packs, the chance of getting this, not great, at least from our sample size, which isn't large, obviously. But the odds of getting this is not worth it. Um, this pack alone is worth like maybe 20, maybe 30 bucks. And for buying those, if you're just buying, if you're just buying these for the cards, great. Nightfall packs are going to run you about seven, eight bucks. Crypto Nation second edition packs are going to buy you like four bucks. So you're getting your money's worth if you're just looking for packs and you're just looking for cards. It's a great introductory product. Um, I believe personally, and then the bonus obviously is that you can get these or you can get the box toppers. Um, honestly, I think 
that they shouldn't have had the box hoppers because if it was just box hoppers, I probably wouldn't be looking for these. Um, or if it was just first edition packs, I would say I would I wouldn't be looking for these. But honestly, the box hopper chase is just crazy as always, folks. So that's that's our reason why. So let's see what we got out of these. We got an alien astronaut, an antidote, a Wapaloozy, old green eyes, a miracle touch, a hoop snake. And I believe the next one is going to be the rare. Ooh, we got a power up red. All right. I mean, it's not it's not amazing, but it's it's definitely one of the better ones, I would say. It's not like a non-hollow or something like that. So I'll take power up red. So let's get this bad boy in a sleeve. All right. So I wouldn't say it redeemed the whole opening, but it's definitely something that's not terrible. So put the I'll even put this in a card in a in a heavy duty sleeve for you guys. So anyways, folks, um, thanks for watching. Like I said, um, I do have some other stuff planned, um, for coming out with how I am going to, um, kind of tell you guys what I am doing and what I would be going after. Um, for those of you guys who are interested, comment below if that's something that you guys would be interested in and thanks for watching and see you in the future.